I came here to participate in the Global Land Forum and uh, basically I wanted to understand what is happening in Africa and how are they fighting for their rights on the land and natural resources issues. India uh, untouchables or Dalits have got the constitutional rights and uh, India's constitution was framed by Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar who was born in an untouchable community. So that is the biggest strength of the people of India that the constitution of India is very progressive and it has given right to uh, the marginalized sections of the society and that is why the constitutional wise India is very strong. But at the level of implementation, things are really uh, difficult. 70% of India's population is still surviving on agriculture. India is a very huge country. It's a, uh, it's a continent. And it is an example how diverse communities can live together. And uh, people in the villages are still uh, uh, engaged in the traditional uh, farming system. In the uh, bigger cities or bigger areas who have uh, big uh, farming, people are opting for new kind of techniques like uh, modern agricultural system. So we have made a lot of uh, progress in terms of uh, agricultural development. But yes, we still have not been able to uh, uh, give that uh, modern scientific technology to our farmers. There is a big problem. These days, a number of farmers have committed suicide because of the crop failure. Our farmers are still dependent on monsoon for the crop. And that is why this is a biggest problem. Uh, because without making or without ensuring very clear uh, uh, mechanism for the farmers to grow, uh, depending on the rains, will never uh, uh, be successful. I wanted to understand like what has happened for the, uh, the indigenous black population in Africa. Uh, what has government given them after the so-called ending of apartheid? Have they got political representation? Like in India, the condition of Dalits. They have got political representation, they have got, you know, uh, space in the power structure, like 17% seats in the Indian government and all the Indian states are reserved for the untouchable communities, which are, who are called scheduled caste. But I don't think uh, that has happened in Africa or even America. America calls it affirmative action, but in American parliament there are not enough number of the, uh, the black uh, member of uh, Congress. Uh, similar situation exists in Africa also. We want to actually understand whether the situation has changed, whether the land reform has been carried out in Africa, whether the representation of the blacks in the African government is according to their population. That's a very important point.